Hey guys, this is Golden Ideas. In this part, we're going to continue onwards. We couldn't, obviously can't hack into Toy Universe, but remember it's there. It's very crucial. So, we can now go into our skills and have more messing around with skills. Uh, let's see. What else should we learn? One of the good things to have is make sure everyone has the, um... Where is they? Where are they? There we go. These abilities. Because they're really good, really nice, and they allow you to um, attack enemies' weakness, even if you yourself don't have that weakness. So get a few of them learned, um, and we'll get one of them shortly. Because Jin, because Jin actually has them, it'd be good. I has a sword. It'd be a good idea to make him attack hard. But we'll have to put both these on first. Otherwise, we'll risk being locked out of. A bird nearly flew in the room. <laughs> We're risk being locked out of that whole area. Uh, items, you can see here. You can't buy items, so items are kind of scarce, but nearly every enemy drops them. We've been playing for how long? We've already got a small inventory. There we go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Trottle, trottle, trottle. allow us through? I'm sure he's going to say that again if you're really nice to him. You know, buy him flowers, some food. Oh, this guy's got even less HP than the other one. So just take him out. Uh, Stark. Oh gosh, Stark. Oh great, he's got skill, and he's nearly dead as well. Oh well. Oh damn it! I could have made use of the whole healing element on that turn. I am such a numpty, such a numpty. Anyway, we'll hit him. Hope he doesn't die. Okay, he dies anyway. Fighting will accomplish nothing. So you keep saying, but yet you're doing it anyway. Maybe that's just the uh, full niche, 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 I can't pronounce his name, his philosophy seeping through. There we go. Woo! Awesome effects. Now because I'm not too- no, you can't make um, Jin your leader at the moment, I'm afraid. Even though I think Jin looks better than Chaos. The, his cu current character design is a bit meh, but it changes. Thank goodness. Anyway. So this entire thing was a setup. Exactly. It's all part of an attempt to make the Utic organization, or should I say, all of Milsha, into a scapegoat. Even the Realian violence that we're seeing right now is nothing more than a brushstroke in the larger picture. But who's behind this? And why? Utic is undoubtedly a cover for a greater power still operating in the shadows. I believe that this power is manipulating the conflict between the Federation and the Milshan system, driving a sequence of events in order to get their hands on something very specific. Like what? The Y data. The Y data? I relieved an operative of this disk, and though I was only able to decode it partially, I discovered that all manner of data from all existing phenomena is gathered together within an area of space. And beyond that lies a special place only described in the Y data. Sounds kind of like heaven. Captain Uzuki, how in the world did you acquire this information? <laughs> I have my ways. No, it's then one thing that looks quite familiar. Remember a scene with Momo's father. Now, this is what I love, is the Xenosaga's beginning to bring together those elements that we saw. The whole section in Old Milsha is here. This is Old Milsha, I don't, I'm going to save here for another reason. And I love the way the fine, you know, the beginning of the second game is basically where you spent another thing, but it's a completely different point of view. And so from what we can see, Chaos was also in the Milsha at the same time as both Junior and Shion. And that's probably why they ended up there, because there were three people resonating with them. And of course, Chaos didn't say that at the time. Interesting. More character building. I'm liking this already. Anyway, this is the introduction. We won't stay in the past for too long. In fact, we should be coming out of the past very, very quickly. In fact, we're going to be doing it with the in, in, in only a couple of minutes. By the end of this part, we will be out of the past. Back to the future! Sorry, I had to say that. Anyway, this is just to show off the ridiculous explosions. They put a lot of work into, clearly. 
that lag the game, so look at that. Looks cool though, I'm not going to deny them that it looks pretty awesome. Anyway, make sure you're all healed up and everyone's got all their points ready, because as soon as you head through there, it will be boss time. So, make sure you have at least someone with an ice or slash, which is why we taught chaos, um, sorry, other guy, chaos, yeah, ice sword, which is going to be handy. You want to, well, you can steal from him, but it's, there's nothing you need to steal from him. We can't steal yet, currently either. So we're going to go into skills, and we're going to just make sure we've got, see if we've got anything else set up. Well, nothing we can actually purchase. What about, um, no, he's not got much we can actually purchase either. Because we only just, yeah, I know, I'm being an idiot. What health? Everyone's fully, yeah, we went to a save point. So let's get on with this then. Look at that butt wobbling. But if you know... <laughs> oh, it's a naked statue. But remember, we do have ice... Uh, we did have an All ice right. move between the two of them. Here it is. You will find the URTVs in the lowest level. All right. Captain Uzuki, thank you for bringing us this far. We'll take things from here. Of course. As I said, it was fate. I wish I could go with you further. However, it's imperative that I complete my work on this data. I want to completely expose the shadow behind this conflict and drag it into the light. To do this, I'll have to access the mainframe here. Also... What? credit, Uzuki. I thought you were smarter than this. A better thief. I never once thought you'd just come walking in through the front door. Well, I thought you might be getting lonely, Colonel. So I figured I'd come pay you a visit. Hmm. <laughs> Same old Uzuki. Neither your attitude nor your ability to bluff have shown improvement. No matter. The data you possess is no threat to us. You've got nothing. Precisely why. I have some unfinished business here. I see. You know what this means. Uzuki! <gasps> Battle time. Anyway, let's get on to this. His weakness is ice, so we want to... Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, we want to go and cast Ice Sword on him. He's already got Slash, so he'll be fine. There we go. Now from Margulis, we want to find out what his zone is. His zone is CB. So just hit on that. That was overlapping screams. Awesome. That did very little damage, actually. It's disappointing. No, it's physical. Oh, whatever. Okay. So he's not got that much HP to deal with. Just got to keep boosting. Break him, and then we can really take take him down. Oh, uh, what can I do? There we go. But that isn't how you go about battling in this game. Oh, no. There's a bigger... Okay, talking absolute gibberish. There's a much better thing you want to be doing. Now, let's start off stocking. Get everyone up to full stock. This is how you usually go about things. I want him to hit Uzuki much more, because um, he's nearly... well, there we go. Oh, damn. Fudge. And I'm going to have to heal as well. Damn. Oh, well. Because when you get them all to full, you can basically wail on them for a large amount of time, especially if you hit them down or up, which is exactly what I'm trying to do. But this is going to turn out to be a bit worse. Okay, right. Yeah, thank you. Hit him. Hit him. 
Now, if you want to get him on a point score, interestingly enough, you won't be able to do it so easy, because he dies on the next turn after yours. So make sure you've got enough health, and uh, your turn is just before. Anyway, uh, actually, we're on that good turn, so we'll make use of uh, reviving his health, because we'll get double the... There we go, double reviving. And he get, takes most of it away. Anyway, get... Um, what are we going to do? Just going to hit him a couple of times just to get up our boost meter. I love the way the dodging work. I love the way the dodging doesn't work in this game. Okay, now we've got boost, so that's good. So now we can either go all out or we can use a special attack. Let's start off by using a special attack. Let's boost to get him first. Double. Ice brand. Hit. In fact, skip. Oh, you can't skip. Why? What is... Why? Anyway, just keep hitting and hope this works. 534 damage. Doesn't that make you feel better? Well, it made me feel a lot better. Okay, so he's now... Oh, wow, look at that damage. Or lack of damage they're in. Um, let's hit him. So he's got 93 damage left. Um, best is... One before, so I don't know. No, I won't hit him just yet. I'll just stock and wait for the right opportunity. Oh, damn, it was! <laughs> I'm such an idiot when it comes to that. Okay, he's good. Oh, gosh. Now we're going to have to heal. Yeah, we're going to have to heal. Damn it, why do I keep doing that? It's just, I'm so used to using that as the guard button, or, you know, just... Oh, the menu. The, I, I get confused so easily. Okay, I'm Medica. Right, so now when we get to best, I can just jump in here. He's got a lot of boosts, so you want to watch out for that. But he won't use them just yet, because he's a bit of a... There we go, a bit of a gob shite. There we go. Now this basically means he's leaving. He's going to hurt you. That's how you defeat him. Ice brand and then do whatever you want to do afterwards. So getting two points gives us a lovely amount at this stage of the game. And we both get a level up. So fantastic. I'll see you um, when I next see you. So there's going to be a bit of cutscenes and we're going to end up with the back, back to the future. Sad sight, uh, Uzuki. Even with your so-called reinforcements. Pathetic. You're out of your league. Why, it's clear now that you never even had a chance. Uh, Captain, you're hurt. Uh, uh, it's... Uh, it's from earlier. It's nothing to worry about. If you'll pardon the cliché, it's... Just a scratch. Uh. Oh. <laughs> huh. So it's begun. <clears throat> this planet is finished.
There's no point in staying any longer. I think it's time we ended this. Once and for all. <laughs> you dare to face me maimed as you are? <laughs> the only thing you've mastered is the art of futility. You never know until you try. Colonel. That's enough! Now you see your death. I have always been your better in every way, Uzuki. It's something that old fool couldn't... What the... Canaan, take this. Is this? Storing it with you is safer than carrying it around. Besides, there's somewhere else I must go. What? You're not serious. Look, we're still mobile, Captain. You could come with us. <sighs> no, this is my own way of atonement. I can't turn back now. But... Please, go on. Bring the truth of this conflict, the truth hidden in that data, to light. Please, do this one thing for me. Captain Uzuki. I'm counting on you. So, farewell. Kanan, look at that. Anyway, this is the end of this part. We'll see you in the next part, um, when we'll get some horrible voice acting in about five seconds. Once again, this means that they're going to get a pretty big cutscene in between, so we will take advantage and save.